Good morning. Um, today is the 10th of January and I just decided to vlog today. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going down to the basement and I'm going to get a little workout in with my new workout outfit. And yeah. So this is my breakfast this morning. I just have a grapefruit and then some raspberries and some water. And I already had a big glass of chocolate milk after I finished my walk on the treadmill. Um, it's kind of like a vlog slash how-to. So I'm going to be making um, some leather earrings that are inspired by Joanna Gaines. And so I'm just going to the craft store right now to get like the hooks for them. You know, the little hooks and then maybe um, some O-rings to attach it. So let's go. Alright guys, we made it to Michael's. And I'm going to go in and look for the fisheye hooks. Okay. Alright guys, so I just found the fish hook ones. I'm just getting the silver because all of my other jewelry is silver, so let's go. Alright guys, I'm on my way home. I have all the supplies I need. Um, most of it's at home. I just needed to get these fish hook rings and we're gonna make it! I'm so excited! Alright guys, so I just got home and now I laid everything out that I have, so I'm gonna show you everything that you're gonna need to make these if you wanna make these. So I found on a blog this template and it's from lifemoreabundantblog.com and so this just has like the leaf cut out and like the exact size um, that it is. And then you need two scissors, a big scissors to cut the leather and then a smaller scissors um, to like punch the holes cause I don't have like a leather puncher or whatever. And then you saw that I got the fish hooks and then you're also gonna need like jump rings and so mine aren't like the same color but like it's fine. And then you're also gonna need leather. You can do it in any color of your choice. Um, if you're in the Twin Cities, you could just go to any like fabric store, um, like SR Harris, they have like big bins of just like scrap, um, of like scrap leather that you can get for pretty cheap but my mom already had some. So I'm kind of going for like the classic dark leather. So I have three pieces. And you're going to want to get a pretty thick piece of leather. Otherwise, I would suggest um, gluing two pieces together so it's just a little bit thicker. Um, so it kind of stays in its shape and it doesn't kind of wrinkle. Um, so that's why I think I'm going to use this leather because I think it's the thickest. And I might try it with this. We'll see. But the first thing you're going to do is cut out your template. So then you can kind of gauge like that's how big it's going to be. And it's going to be so cute. And I'm also going to cut out the little... Holes so I know where those go. Cool. So then that is you just need a little template like this. We need to get it far away. Um, and then you can just take your leather and you can trace it. I'm actually gonna get um a pencil to trace. I just got a red pen because I know it's gonna show up, and I just want to figure out what piece of leather I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this piece of leather right here. And then I might make it out of this, um, but they are pretty similar in color. I just think I like the grain about this one a little bit more, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one. So what I'm doing is I'm just tracing it on the leather, and I'm tracing it in pen, but I'm going to trace it on the outside, so I'll be cutting inside of the red line so you're not going to see it. And it's going to be the back of the earring anyways, so. This is a handmade product, so you know, if it isn't perfect, that's okay. So then I'm just going to go ahead with my big scissors and cut this piece of leather out. Right, there we are, and so we have a little leaf looking thing. On to the next one. Okay, so now that I have the two pieces cut out, I'm going to lay them on top of each other and see if, you know, there is any differences in them. If they're pretty much the same, I, you know, I'm going to keep it. But if any of, if they're different, um, I'm going to want to cut and trim them so they look basically identical. And so they're basically the same. So I only used like a little bit of leather. This is my only scrap. So you can be, um, because these are pretty easy to kind of, 
put it in a square. So now that I have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these down and set the template on it again so then I can figure out where I need the holes to be. So I'm just going to set the template down on the piece of leather and cut through the paper and through the leather. And I'm going to try to get this as good as I can through the piece of leather. And this is, um, it might be a little bit harder if you do to, if you do the two layers of, um, if you do the two layers of leather, this might be a little bit harder, but since I'm only doing one layer, it should be pretty easy. So I'm going to go ahead and do it on the other one. So now that I have, I'm going to come up and show you. So now I have two pieces of leather, and you can also see I cut the holes, and that's where we're going to kind of close this together and make the really pretty um, leaf. And that's going to kind of shape it and kind of give it the 3D look. So then, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my jump rings and I'm just going to kind of feed it through. Oh, I need a pliers. Okay, forgot to mention, we do need to have a needle nose pliers. So we're going to go get that because um, I didn't, I didn't think about that you needed a needle nose pliers to like manipulate the, um, oh, he won't have one. You need it to manipulate the jump ring. So let me just see if we have one here. That should work. Okay, so I just got it from my garage. So I got the needle nose pliers. This one's kind of big, but I think it'll work. Anyways. All right, so I'm back and I just got the needle nose pliers. So you're gonna just wanna open them Open the um, jump ring. So the key is to not, so when you have the jump ring like this, don't pull it apart, but go like this. So then you can just kind of clamp them back together and then they're already together, but instead you have to go like this and then you have to go like this and it kind of messes with it and it makes it go like that instead of being a circle. So, I just finished one. Okay, so I just finished one and I kind of learned the trick to it. So this is what the final product looked like. This is kind of a darker leather and you can see that that's kind of bent, but you can just kind of straighten that out. Um, so that's what the final product looks like. And then, yeah, so that's how you make it. All right, you guys, so here is the final product. It's just like a cute leaf earring. So I think I'm going to go and make a few more colors. All right, so this is the second pair that I made. It was just like a lighter leather, so. Lunch for today, we have raspberries. These are oranges. They're the oranges from Costco. They're the Kara Kara ones. They're so good right now. And then I just made a Mediterranean style flatbread. So that's, I put olive oil and alfredo sauce as the base. And then I put chicken, olives, um, banana peppers, so a little bit of cheese, and then um, some lettuce. And then, or whatever it's called, lettuce. And then I just sprinkled it with um, balsamic vinegar. Hey guys, this is Eloise. And we're about to go snow tubing. And we thought we'd bring you. All right, we just got here. Here are the sunny hills. All right, we just went down our first hill. How was it, Weez? Good. And there's barely anyone here, so it's perfect. So we can, um, we don't have to wait in line. Loop it through and hold on to it. 
What if I let go? Uh, I don't let go. Yeah, I'm aware. Okay, ready? Just don't let go. <laughs> okay, spray. <laughs> Why did we go so fast on that one? We did it. We went faster than we I like covered my thing for a second. Okay, hi. whoops. Failure. All right guys, so we just finished uh, snow tubing and now we're going to Culver's and we're at a red light. And yeah, did you have fun, Weez? Yeah. It was a great time. All right, we just left, Weez. Bye, Weez. <laughs>